Thank you. Uh, welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the Press Corps, international and local. Thank you for your interest. Uh, we have had a uh, renewed interest this morning, I believe. Uh, everybody probably taken by surprise at the turn of events last night. But it is something that uh, is uh, not within our control at the moment, but we can engage uh, activities that will redress, or for us, uh, allow us redress of what the situation is. And the redress I mean is that we will uh, convey our feelings to the supervisor of elections to say that uh, we're not satisfied with the outcome uh, after the uh, break, after the glitch last night, we before that we were ahead in the count. When it came back on, when the systems came back on, there was a, uh, a big change, not in our favor. It is only natural for us to, for people to expect the uh, the so-called offended parties to have the right to redress. And what, uh, what we're doing this morning, we are writing to the officers concerned. The constitutional officers concerned are the supervisor of election. Uh, if we have to invoke a certain aspect of the constitution, we can try and do that. And uh, the constitutional officer that has the overall responsibility, according to the constitution, is the commander of RFMF, and we will also be communicating with him and also with the office of the president as the font of authority who gave everybody the authority under which they operate. As you know, all know, the uh, president is the font of authority, the font of honor, and the font of mercy, and he exercises those three roles in uh, his office. He uh, dispenses or he, he allocates authority to his offices, uh, that including the government, the prime minister, and, uh, and the ministers, uh, and he appoints uh, officers in the constitutional, uh, are recommended by the, uh, the Constitutional Officer Commission. And uh, he is the one that uh, also gives out honors and awards on award day during the year. So we will, uh, we will uh, explore those avenues and we will not give up and we will continue to uh, do everything according to law. I've also sent out a message to the people of Fiji to remain calm. There is no reason for us to agitate. Let us wait until all the courses for uh, redress have been, uh, have been explored. And even after that, we just still want them to remain calm. 